Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing you my pregnancy update from week zero to week four. I found out I was pregnant at three weeks and nine days, and I'm going to be sharing you footage from that day as well. I am like all over the place a little bit because it was the day I found out I was pregnant. So I'm going to share that information as well on that, but I wanted to share with you the update on what to expect, when to expecting on week threes and then week number four. During the third week, I was, that was eight weeks ago, now that I'm filming this today, that was eight weeks ago. The baby was super, super tiny. It was a vanilla bean seed. That's when I found out I was pregnant. So I knew that it was a vanilla bean. And let's see what the update, this is the conception and fertilization stage. So I knew early on that I was pregnant and three weeks pregnant is within your one month pregnant. So only eight months to go at that time. This is also a time for implantation, which obviously I was already implanted. This is when the blastocyst um, started to happen. This is before, you know, the embryo begins and stuff, whatnot. So that's what it shares on that. It talks about like hormones, how hormones can be crazy, the sense of smell, which that early on I didn't have smell until like week six. And what else? Let's see. It says baby's on board. We have an embryo. You're soon to be fetus is still a cluster of cells that are growing and multiplying. The journey begins. Is it a boy or is it a girl? So this is super exciting. This is when I found out I was pregnant and I downloaded the app and super exciting. So week number two, the baby has not even been existed. You know, like there's no baby that conceived. So I knew at the moment of the next level, like at the first stage of pregnancy, which is super cool. Then in week four, Petri is a poppy seed. I didn't film that week because I think I was like I was already going into week four and I filmed week five. This is me in the future. I'll be 12 weeks tomorrow. So this is a poppy seed. Placenta and embryo begin to form. So this is when everything is forming. Uh, you're in your first pregnancy, the development, I mean the first month, development of the embryo and the amniotic sac. There's three layers to the embryo as the endoderm, which develops your baby's digestive system, liver and lungs, the middle layer, the mesoderm, which is the baby's heart, sex organs, bones, kidneys, and muscles. And then the outer layer, the ectoderm, which is the baby's nervous system, hair, eyes, outer layer of skin. What's going on? And that's when the egg implants, but I already was pregnant. And then pregnancy hormones soon appear. I had really tender boobs as I will you'll see in the uh, video. Two sets of cells. Your itty bitty embryo has two layer of cells called epiblasts. Hypoblast says you may see double because you see your yolk sac and the baby in the the early on in the ultrasound, at least in mine. Before the placenta forms, you develop a yolk sac. So I obviously didn't have a placenta yet. It was a yolk sac and you see it and it produces blood and helps to nourish your young little embryo. So that was week number four. And then I go into all the videos. I did not mention this in my video because I was so shocked, so excited, but I go over all the symptoms, the first pregnancy symptoms that I experienced and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys soon. All right guys, let's sit down and talk so that we're not like all over the place. This is probably gonna be a really long video. So I chart my periods all the time. That's how I also know that I'm pregnant or you know, gearing towards getting pregnant. I don't know if that makes sense. Sorry, I'm already had pregnancy brain guys. How's that happen at three weeks? Anyway, so according to this app, I ovulated, first it said I ovulated the 17th and then it changed its date to the 19th according to my temperature that I was taking every morning. See, like my follicular phase was right here and then that was my ovulation phase and that's my luteal phase. So when you're pregnant, it's supposed to stay up here. Your temperature is supposed to stay hot. So definitely if you don't know how to do your basal body temperature charts, I would suggest starting and start doing that. This is the fertility friend that I love using, but I've also handwritten my past basal body temperature charts, my BBT charts. So the only thing that 
my ovulation date so I'm not sure when my DPO is according to what it says that my ovulation day was which was 19 it's changed on cycle day 19 it is nine days DPO according to that but if we go from day 17 when it, I ovulated 11 days DPO so that seems more accurate meaning I've watched a lot of pregnancy videos that people have found out their DPO like on day 11 or day 10 not usually like under either way I'm pregnant so it doesn't matter but I'm trying to like make this accurate for you and I apologize so that's a little confusing I have to do a little more research I'm gonna ask my friend what she thinks was more my ovulation I believe it was day 17 because I had such a huge spike when you ovulate there's three things that happen your cervix actually you know it tilts you get a high temperature so that's how you know with the, the basal body temperature your temperature rises well it'll drop and then it rises your temperature rises as well you look at your cervical fluid how your cervical fluid looks like and on day 17 my cervical fluid was wet it doesn't say when W is but anyway it calculated that I ovulated on day 1924 as you can see a cycle day 19th August 24th and then I hit my luteal phase let's see on day so my husband and I had intercourse on day 16 on August 16th August 21st August 22nd August 23rd August 24th August 25th and August 26th. I was originally in the past doing it wrong. If you want to learn about your fertility, definitely get this book. I read a chapter in it and it said to have sex every day unless you're, you know, your significant other has a low sperm count. And we previously were having sex every other day. Well, when we tried the one month and I didn't get pregnant. So clearly it worked this time. We had sex every single day or the dates I just told you like of because I knew my window of ovulation the thing also is you can ovulate a different day of each month and it says that in there so you have to watch your look at your cervical fluid I'm always examining that there's also different types of cer cervical fluid wet egg white and all different things but if you want to like learn more about it learn from here and to find out which you're most fertile but also in the book it said to even have sex the day after you ovulate just in case because you cannot lose out so we did that as well. I took a, a test August 31st. It was negative. According to the app, I was seven days past ovulation or probably nine days past ovulation. Anyway, I wrote down some symptoms. So Devin and I went to the Lantern Festival on Sunday and I had a soy milk and these tofu, sweet tofu rice, things that I always have and I felt sick to my stomach. Well, we all know why I felt sick to my stomach, kind of like a nausea feeling, and I don't typically get a stomach ache. I mean, definitely like, what's going on? And I was like, whatever, you know, because there was been so many times I thought I was pregnant and then I wasn't. I was very fatigued, I had a little bit of nausea, and that's when my breasts started being tender. Now, my breasts are always tender every time I get my period, although they haven't been, it's only usually a couple days before my period, and I'm supposed to get my period in in seven days and they hurt and actually I went to the gym yesterday and I did back and biceps and I was on that machine where you you're doing your traps it's like a row machine but it's a seated one and you're doing I was doing one of each and I was pressing against like the seat and it hurt my boobs so bad. I was like ow like it stung and I was like that never happens like usually my boobs are not that sore but I was like whatever you know like I didn't want to make a big deal out about that then yesterday, September 1st, 2020, I went to the gym and I was supposed to film my Pisces full moon video, which I did film, which was such a struggle for me. And I'm like, what is going on? I was so tired that I filmed a video, edited another video and passed out. And it was like, like as if I'd never even went to bed. And I normally don't feel like that either. My temperature was a 98.1. I was so moody. Like I snapped at my husband. But again, I recently, a couple of weeks ago, we went out to dinner for his friends going away and I drank a lot of alcohol, not knowing that I was gonna be pregnant. I think it was before 
we even started trying, meaning before my ovulation phase. I drank, and I normally don't drink, go figure. The liquor really moved my liver chi. I used to have PMDD disorder, and the last time I drank a lot of alcohol on a vacation for like a week, I had a PMDD relapse. So if you don't know what that is, it's premenstrual dysphoric disorder. I have an Instagram page on that if you want to look it up. If you don't know what it is, it's just a PMS on steroids, basically. It's a lot more than that, but it's PMS on steroids for two weeks out of the month that I no longer have, but if I have alcohol, which that day I had like six, seven drinks. So yesterday I was like, so moody, see me and Devin were like, wow, really alcohol really affects me. Wrong, I'm pregnant. And I even wrote more moody than usual, probably from alcohol from this person's going away party. Then my mood and energy was really low, but it wasn't like, it was just really low. And then the day before yesterday, I felt more positive. So it was like just really weird. And then if you watch my video, I literally say, sorry guys, like I'm not feeling it. Like it's totally funny. Uh, fatigued and yesterday I had really high increased sex drive which during this phase like during this time of like my luteal phase like right before my period I don't tend to have that irritability and tender breasts so that was that I even though I took a nap I still went to bed at 9 30 and usually if I go to bed early from taking a nap or go to bed early in general I will be up from 2 to 3 in the morning till 5 6 in the morning I slept the whole night. So today, September 2nd, my temperature was 97.9. I woke up tired and a bit sicky feeling, but I was just like, I'm just making this up. I have leg cramps which is so crazy because I did back and biceps yesterday, but I did walk down the stairs. We have, I'm on the eighth floor because the elevator was taking so long. I was so agitated yesterday. I was so moody. I was so annoyed by everybody. And I was just like, I'll just take the stairs. So that can be a reason why my legs hurt, but it's not that long. I, I don't know. I don't think I would, but who knows? And my feet have been bothering me since we started coaching soccer. And I thought it was that, but it could be from pregnancy. Who knows? Fatigue, irritability, Irritability, tender breaths. Today I feel a little irritability and then I'm gonna put nausea because of feeling that way this morning. So that is everything up to date today of all my symptoms, which is pretty cool because according to all these apps, I, I'm using Ovia Pregnancy Baby Center and What to Expect. They all say I'm in my first trimester, obviously three weeks and six days. So the baby is a little tiny vanilla bean. Supposedly it didn't even implant yet into my uterus. So that could be scary. I'll probably let you guys know around 10 weeks, but I'm gonna keep, you know, doing a little diary of the updates. So my husband should be home in about 20, 25 minutes. I'm hoping so. I literally am so shocked, guys. Cannot like register that I'm pregnant. So this was the last time I cycled, which is cycle six. I ran out of basal body temperature charts. So this was June. So in July, we only were intimate twice because I was like, forget it. We were intimate eight times this month. June, we were only intimate two times. So again, really not trying. Then the 5th May, we were intimate one time. You know, that's what I mean. We conceived once. Obviously not pregnant. I mean, I could have got pregnant. In April, we really tried. We had, we conceived one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, nine times, but eight in my window. I did not get pregnant, but I did know to, you know, still have sex after you are, your ovulation phase is over with, which I think really helped me. In March, we only conceived twice. And then in February, we conceived twice as well. I know I'm not like really showing you the charts, but they are all over the place. And then on January, we conceived once. You know, kind of here and there, I still didn't get pregnant. So if you want to count that all trying, it took us kind of all year to get pregnant in a way. But the, the fourth chart, fourth cycle in April is when we really tried. So technically we really tried twice. I think that's pretty lucky. Now looking back, I thought we really tried harder, but I guess we didn't. But anyway, I highly recommend getting this book, Taking Charge of Your Fertility. You know, I've watched a bunch of different videos as well. And then I'm just super excited to share this journey with you guys. And it's just gonna be an exciting, crazy ride that I just can't even, oh my God, why am I speaking in high pitch? It's gonna be a crazy ride, guys. Hey, it's crazy. All right, I'm gonna set the camera up. 
for when Devin gets home so that he can be here when I announce or, you know, show him the pregnancy. Oh my God, I can't. I'm so happy. I had other symptoms that I have been having. Like when I was filming the full moon in Pisces, I felt so out of it. And like, I'm trying to edit the video and I'm like, what is my problem? I'm like, let me go check it uh, and see if I'm pregnant. And that's what made me realize that I was pregnant because I was like, I just feel so off. Feeling really, really off. And also today I also had some uh, loose stools in the bathroom. That can be part of pregnancy, not sure. It probably is pregnancy related from food. This tree's bothering me. It can be pregnancy related, early symptoms. I personally won't know if I pee a lot. I, I, actually, let me correct you. I pee a lot in general, so I'm hoping that does not increase till like later, later on. I drink a lot of like water and stuff and it goes right through me. Like I'm in the bathroom all day long. <laughs> so hopefully that's not an issue. Oh. All right guys, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed weeks zero to four and that I was so all over the place. That was the same day I was pregnant. I was just so, that I found out I was pregnant. I was so excited. If you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly because I will have pregnancy updates every week and I'll be doing my whole preg pregnancy journey, sharing with you what I buy, you know, postpartum stuff that I'll be buying, breastfeeding stuff that I'll be buying, my birth story, my doula. I'm gonna be sharing so much stuff with you guys and I'm so excited. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell to keep updated with me and notified. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.